The U.S. economy is entering the new year with momentum. Every average weekly jobless claims near the lowest level in 52 years and unemployment is down to 4.2 percent in November. But economists say five risk factors could quickly change all of that. Jen Sullivan has a closer look. Heading into 2022, the economy is booming, but economists warn several risks this year can change all that, starting with COVID. It's going to do damage. It already has started to do that. You can see that with the cancellation of air flights. Uh, restaurant bookings are down. Credit card spending on travel is off. Then there's the risk of inflation staying hot. While some economists predict inflation will cool off later in the year, prices for food, gas and housing are still high. The third risk, supply chain staying scrambled. The Delta variant impacted supply chains in several ways, including getting workers sick. And while it's still early, economists predict the same could happen with Omicron. We see various goods still quite difficult to get. So I remain worried about those problems, even if they weren't quite as bad as we were worried about, you know, a few weeks ago. Then there's the potential for a Fed policy mistake. The Federal Reserve is ending its emergency support for the economy and plans to raise interest rates. One economist says Omicron could destabilize the economy and force the Fed to delay that. The Fed may delay when it actually begins to start raising interest rates, which right now feels like it's going to be sometime May or June of 2022, but they could delay it. Also on that note, after providing nearly $6 trillion the past two years, Uncle Sam is slowing support. Fiscal stimulus and spending are expected to slow dramatically in 2022. And finally, the unexpected, the risk of a surprise event that could impact the economy. Examples of a wild card event would be a natural disaster or a massive cyber attack. Fed Chairman Jerome Powell openly worried earlier this month about the potential impact from a cyber intrusion, saying that it could take down a big bank or a key cog in the financial system.